Hi, welcome to our First Impressions Mold Shell Press tutorial. My name is Kelly. Today we will be demonstrating how to use our shell press molds for cake decorating. For our demonstration purposes, we are using gum paste. However, fondant can be used as well. Today we are using Wilton gum paste, gel paste food coloring, you'll need a styrofoam ball, some toothpicks, some vegetable shortening for your hands, a rolling pin, and First Impressions Molds Shell Press. The links to all of these products will be listed in the description below, as well as instructions for you to follow. So let's get started. Today we have chosen the large shell press, although we have a variety of shells to choose from on our website. In order to color your gum paste, just take a tiny dab of gel paste food coloring and just dab it on your gum paste. You'll work it in to get the desired color that you choose. You just need a tiny little bit, and this has turned into a nice light orange. Okay, in addition to a solid color, today we have chosen a marble technique that we have demonstrated in a quick tip video. So if you would like to watch our video demonstration first before you get started, the links to that video are below. This is a great alternative to having to hand paint your shell. So what you'll do is take your roller and you're going to roll your gum paste or fondant and you'll want to roll it really thin, probably about an eighth of an inch. If it's too thick, it doesn't work quite as well. Once you have it rolled out thin, you're going to pick it up carefully, place it on top of your mold and push your fondant down into all the cavities. You'll take your top of your shell press, push it on top, and then take it out, you'll see all the details. Then just take your rolling pin, and the easiest way to do it is just to cut away the edges. It can be a little jagged, that's okay, because you can clean up the edges afterwards. So then when all of the excess is off, you'll just take a little bit of your gum paste and knead it to make it soft again, and then you're just gonna clean up around the edges it can be a little jagged, it's okay. So you'll take all of your excess, but keep this on hand because you're going to use it again to make the other half of your shell. So you'll need now your styrofoam ball. We've cut it in half, and this makes a perfect place to dry your shell. So you just wanna pop it out of your mold very gently, and this way it takes a shape, has a curve to it, then you'll want to just trim the edge, the bottom of your shell, to make sure it's a straight edge because when you have the two, they're going to connect together. So now we have two shells. We've taken a styrofoam ball, a three inch styrofoam ball, cut it in half, and this makes a perfect size for your shell to dry on. It'll keep the shape rounded so that when you come together to put your shell together, it will have the right shape, it'll be consistent. We've repeated the process on our smaller shell presses and we've left them to dry. Instead of using a styrofoam ball like this one, they can just dry on the top of the shell press. So you'll just take the top of your shell press out and they can lay on that. It'll take several hours to harden up and dry. Okay, so we're back with our shell presses. We have waited about a day for these to set up so that the gum paste is nice and firm. And we're ready to attach the two sides of the shells together with our royal icing. It works like a glue. So we've done it here for this little one. We've added a pearl on the inside. You can roll a white pearl just out of white gum paste or fondant to put on the inside. So we have take them off of our styrofoam balls. You can see how that has kept the shape and you can see all the detail from inside. The three-dimensional mold which shows the detail on the inside and the outside. So now you're ready to assemble and you're just gonna take your royal icing and you're gonna pipe just like glue along the bottom. And this is why we cut the edge with scissors. To make it flat, we have both edges that match. And just line up your edges, and it's gonna stay open. This is gonna be perfect for on the top of a cake. You'll put your pearl on the inside. And you can dust the pearl with the crystal colors, just gives it a little bit of shine and shimmer to it. And then you can prop it open with a toothpick, and that just helps it until it dries. And there you go, you have a beautiful cake topper shell. 
So we hope you've enjoyed our shell press tutorial. Please let us know in the comment section below what you have created with First Impressions Mold or what you would like to see more of in the future. Until our next tutorial, thanks so much for making your first impressions with us.